Um, yeah, so we can add in individual templates uh, using the, the add template button here and matching them up to the, to the ones in the library from our spec. Now if we've got the spec summarized in a, a simple spreadsheet, a CSV file, uh, so just uh, take your spreadsheet and save it as a, as a CSV file. Uh, most uh, Excel programs will have that option to save as CSV here. Yeah. Make sure that uh, these are all formatted neatly as, as general. And um, yeah, we can then use bulk import to to match the templates and the software to, to what we have in the spreadsheet here. So I'll go down to the import tab. Select my example. And it's asking me for the, uh, the categories here. I'm going to ignore this building category. That's not relevant. Uh, but this one, the description here is uh, matching up to the template name. This is our quantity column, and this is our unit column. And we see there that the software has um, taken all these descriptions and matched them to the templates. Now, these are things that I use often. The software will, will match it very very quickly and easily. Uh, some, some of them I don't use quite so often, like timber frame uh, with a timber door, and I have to manually uh, select one. And so there's a suggestion there that pops right up, or I could um, search for door and see the whole list of door templates that, that we have available. Um, so I select that one, and I go to next. Uh, finish up here. And we see now this uh, categories tab is uh, very much complete. So we've got lots in there for foundations, for superstructure, for finishes, and all those templates that were in, uh, that were referenced in this uh, CSV file here have now been matched up with the, the quantities and the relevant template in the library. Worth doing a quick sense check to make sure that it's uh, selected the right ones. Um, but uh, yeah, it works very well, particularly if you use similar descriptions um, before, and you'll find that uh, that you do. You know, there's often you have your concrete columns, you have your slabs, you have your uh, different wall types. Very much. Um, items that are uh, repeated from job to job to job and uh, hopefully there's only one or two that, that you need to manually match. Sometimes you might find that uh, you need to update an actual template in the library. If you don't find one that quite matches, you can go to the library here, you can select uh, any template in, in the library and you can make a, a copy of that template and make updates to it. So, there you might have this one, which is uh, hollow concrete brick block wall. You might make a copy of that and update the, uh, the thickness of those concrete blocks. And uh, you then have that available for your model. And it's also, you can make it available for all our other ETOOL users by validating 